Yes, I'm currently still a transit operator with uh, Edmonton Transit plus a relief training instructor now for um, almost five years. Oh, my mom. Oh, when I became a transit driver, my mom was so proud of me. She bugged me ever since I was a kid, ever since I was nine years old, to become a bus driver. Um, after um, she became a transit operator, she was a transit operator for about three years, but she wanted some normal hour, hours with her kids because back then um, there were no uh, labor laws that were in effect. Um, so she was working crazy hours, crazy hours, like 16 to 18 hours a day and, uh, sh and weekends, everything. And she knew at that time that she wanted some more time to spend with her, her children. So um, she actually, her next job was becoming the first female ETS dispatcher. And that gave her the weekends off to spend with her children. So she became a dispatcher, and I think she was a dispatcher for about three years. And then uh, another posting came up for um, a special uh, services charter officer, and then she applied for that, which even gave her even more normal hours of, you know, eight to four weekdays. From the stories that she told me when she became the first transit operator was um, she told me not only that the trainers refused to train her, um, the drivers were quite cruel to her. They did not want her coming in because ETS back then was almost, um, uh, they followed a military style. Um, so they didn't want any women to come in and, you know, um, upset the, uh, the apple cart. I, I guess I could say. So um, when she first became um, a driver, what the drivers would do in the old Jimmy buses is you've actually got a handbrake that you squeeze and you would pull up. And they would um, take this handbrake and they would pull it up as hard as they, they could so that she would have a very difficult time squeezing and getting the brake off of the bus. Um, now we have maxi brakes, but back then it was a, a handbrake and it was manual steering um, and uh, the drivers would make a lot of um, crude comments to her and do a lot of mean things because she was not only a woman, a female um, driver, but she was also um, a divorcee, which was not um, looked upon very nicely back in those days. Like um, even when our house would get vandalized because she was a divorcee. So we actually ended up having to get actually uh, a German Shepherd to guard our house and our property because people would vandalize our house because she was a divorcee and it wasn't heard of back then. Um, the other problems that she would have um, while driving buses was from passengers. They actually refused to get on her bus when she opened the door. They refused to get on their bus. And one story I do recall was um, um, she was driving the bus late at night because they would work 16 to 17 hours a day. Um, one lady got on the bus and said to her, um, if you knew what was best for your children, you would be at home looking after your children and not taking a job from a man. And uh, she turned to this lady and said, you know what, I do know what's best for my children. That's why I'm sitting in the seat and I'm busting my butt so that I can bring home an income that can, um, you know, give them uh, a home to grow up in and education um, and I can feed them. Um, after she had that uh, conversation with that woman, the woman actually became her best friend and late at night she would bring her coffee and sandwiches. Um, so she actually won the respect of this woman who told her that she should be at home looking after her children. So she was actually with the, um, uh, you joined the ATU 569 and I think one of the stories that she said and even in the history book about how they were saying um, they were bringing the union meeting to um, order and uh, he was, they were like, you know, um, order or, you know, welcome to the union brothers and sister. And I think in the history book, that's when everybody looked at her because she was the only female there and she just laughed, you know, because she was the only female there. So they were like, you know, welcome, you know, to the union meetings, our brothers and our sisters.